Throughout this tutorial series on integrating easy digital downloads into a WordPress theme, I'm going to use a custom theme that I developed for Bootstrap WP. Uh, you can use whatever theme you want. Uh, it's actually based off of an underscores.me theme. And if you're not a current member of Bootstrap WP, you can go check out the site. And there's a several tutorial series on building custom themes. So you can get caught up right to this point where we are right now. With that said, let's dig into it. So over at Easy Digital Downloads, I'm going to go over here to Support and then go to Documentation. Once the page loads, we're going to go down here and the first thing I want to do is change this Downloads to say Themes. So the developer makes it very easy to do. And right here you can see modify the download post type admin labels. So that's what we're going to do. Let's click on that. You can see here he provides a function here to set the different labels. So all we need to do is copy this. And in our theme files, we're going to create a new functions file. So again, you may be using a different theme, the file structure might be a lot different, but what I'm essentially doing is just creating a new file. It might be in the functions directory, maybe in the INC like I'm doing, it could be in the root, wherever you want to put it. But I'm just going to add a new file, paste this in, and everywhere that it says products, I'm going to change it to theme. So I'm going to copy this, find and replace and put that in there and I want to change products to themes so replace all now I need to do find and replace product I want to do theme replace all so let's save this file and then whatever your themes called and in my case, I'm going to put it in the INC directory. And I'm just going to call this edd.php for easy digital downloads PHP. This will be the file that I put all my custom functions for e easy digital downloads to customize it. It also has a text domains here for uh, translations. So let's go ahead and find and replace. I think for this theme I used, what did I use? Probably Bootstrap WP, but let's make sure. Just trying to find somewhere that sticks out to me real quick. I guess the easy way to do it is go to the text domain. Here it is. So we want to replace your domain with whatever your theme's text domain is. So replace all. So I got that set up, so save that again. So in my functions file, I'm going to scroll down here. And I'm just going to add this file. So again, if you're a member of bootstrapwp.com, this is nothing new to you. We do this all the time to add more functionality to our themes. So edd easy digital downloads save that and let's go back to our dashboard and reload and looky there it's now themes so everything related to this is themes so if we view an item you'll notice that the URL up here still says downloads this may be fine with you, but if I'm just selling themes, I would think that I'd want that to just say themes. So we can change that as well. Back over into the documentation, if you go into the developer docs and constants here, and go to eddd underscore slug, and right here, you can define your own slug. Note that it says after doing this you should resave your permalinks so that it can take effect. So 
So let's go ahead and grab this and back into our EDD functions. We're just right underneath here, we're going to define the slug. So in this case, I would like it to say themes. This may be music or whatever you're creating. Let's just add a comment that says change EDD slug. Can't spell. Save that. And like the instructions say, let's go into settings, permalinks, and let's resave those. So now when we go into themes and we click view, you'll see that themes has changed. Perfect. So now we got it set up how we want to. Um, you know, you can go over these docs are very helpful. I've spent a lot of time in there. I've developed probably five different WordPress theme stores using easy digital downloads. So throughout this tutorial series, I'm going to share everything that I've learned. But I'm going to end this tutorial here in the next series or in the next video. We'll go over adding some different page templates so we can get each item to look exactly how we want.